Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see how to convert a simple C program into C++. So here I have taken a simple program to calculate area of a triangle. Well, I'm not displaying it, but uh, as you can see, the code just calculates the area. Uh, and then uh, I have also created a function which can replace the base of the triangle, base or length, whatever you guys want to call it. So here is the code. Uh, I have done it using structures. I believe you guys can understand this. This is very basic. I have created two integers, base and height. I have created an initialize function, which basically appoints the values which we pass in from here into the base and height. I have an area function, which calculates the area of the triangle. Then, as I said, I have a function which replaces the base called new length. So I am just going to pass in the new base, which is in this case is 25 and that's it. I'm going to replace the value of base and here I'm just printing code runs. You guys can print values if you want. Since this is just a demo of how to convert C into C++, we are not going to see that. So as you can see here, my code runs, right? Okay, let me close this terminal. So here I have written the same program. This is this, both these windows are same, but as you can see here is a, this is a C PP file and this is a C file. So what we are going to do is we are going to convert this write program into a C plus plus program. And that we are going to do in the left panel. So I request you guys while you are watching this video, please focus on my voice and on the left panel as we are going to code on the left panel and when I compare it to right side only then I, I urge you guys that you see uh, the convert.c file which is basically this one okay so just gets let's just get started uh, so this is a structure so we can convert a structure into a class I have explained what a class is in my previous tutorials you guys can go and check that if you don't understand what classes are. So here I am just going to write class. Uh, just a heads up. I'm sorry. What is just, huh? So just a heads up. Whenever you see struct in the C plus C program, if there's going to a C plus, if there's going to be a C plus plus code of it, it's going to be in the form of class. So yeah, I created, I, I just renamed it into class for now. Uh, so since this is a class, what I am going to do here is I'm going to delete these lines and then I'm going to place them here. So basically what I did right now was I created a class. This whole is my class. And then what just happened was all these functions, which were independent functions in the C program now became member functions, or we can name them as methods. Yeah, so let's just move forward. Uh, so yeah, we have the integer base and integer height. So in classes, uh, if you haven't named them like public or private, by default, it gets allotted as a private variable. So right now, our variables integer base and integer height are private variables. What just happened? Why is it showing me an error? Okay, it went off. Okay, so here is my class. And then we have the function initialize. So this is not a structure now. So I don't need to pass it again. All I need is integer B and integer H, which will be passed from here. We will get to the main function later. For now, just for, for now, we'll just focus on converting these. So since now this is a class, I don't need to access them again and again with like this. So I can just remove these. So Basically what we are doing here, we are allotting values of private variables that are base and height. We are allotting values by passing the private variable. I'm sorry, the public variables. So we took B and H and we allotted their values as base and height. I hope you guys got that. Then we have the area function. Uh, I can remove this struct because I don't need to write it again since these are member functions and then I can also remove this like I removed it above 
I don't need to use them again because even though they are private variables, I can access them in the class. That's why they are. Okay, then we have here the new length and I can remove this too. I don't need this. Okay, so now I believe, no, wait, I have to do it this also. Okay, so now I believe our class is complete. We have the class triangle, we have two variables, private variables and right. So here these member functions, I am going to call them public. Yep. So now our member functions are public, which means we can access them from outside the class. All right. So let's go towards main. So I don't need struct written here. I can just call it as triangle R. So R is my object. And with help of this object, we are going to access all these functions or variables in the class. So initialize. So in the, in the C++ code, they were, they were individual functions, but now they are member functions. So obviously I have to call them like this r object dot and then whatever our function is so i will just do this here i will call everyone by the object r which we created right here it's this okay so i don't need to pass anything here and similarly here i can remove this and then I can also remove this. So my old length or base was going to be 10 and the height was going to be five and the new length would be 25. And then this is just code to check if it runs. I'll just do this C out. Mm. I'll just write here code runs. Obviously it will run. End line, yep. So let's see if we missed anything. We created a main function. We created an object. With the object, we access the member functions. We called initialize, we passed 10 and five. We called the area, we called new length, and then we just printed it. Now let's check it here. We have the member function initialize or a method. We have integer area, we have void new length. All right, so I believe this C++ code is now complete. Let me just go ahead and try to run it. Run code. All right, as you can see, the code I'm running here is the convert C++, which is this file and not this file. So the code runs basically, we don't have any errors. You guys can go ahead and print the individual values of the length and breadth. We are not going to check it here as because that's not our aim. Uh, okay, so now I'm also going to try to use constructors in here. So what a constructor basically does, whenever I create the object, a few values should be initialized. So suppose I, this, I wrote this initialize function, which basically gives me the base and height, but suppose every time, suppose I don't want to write this line dot r dot initialize. So what I will go ahead and do I will just create two brackets and I will a bracket and I'll just pass this values here and then I'll go ahead and comment this out. Okay. And now what I will do is I will copy this code and I am going to paste it again. I'm going to remove void and then just see what I'm doing here. I am going to write triangle. Yep. So now this thing, this what I wrote here is actually my constructor. So every time I create a new object, I will write the values in front of it. I don't have to write this extra line. And then since it's a constructor, it's automatically called. So the values 10 and five, then are automatically stored in base and height. So let's go ahead and try to run this. Run code. 
convert C++ and yes the code runs we have actually no errors okay so let me just close this no wait once before we close yeah I want you guys to see the difference between these two codes see we use structures here we use class here in we put all of those functions which were in C++ they were independent and here we made them member functions as you see uh, in the beginning I wrote this here and then I bought them inside my class and then I didn't have to write struct triangle again and again and then in the main function I created the object and in and since these were independent functions I could just write them initialize area and since these are member functions I have to obviously access them through a class printf c out this is just normal code so that's it guys this is a simple code to convert a c program into a c plus plus program now this is a very important concept or a thing which you guys need to understand because there will be a lot of moments where you guys would need to convert a c program into c plus plus you, you might seem that it's not important right now but believe me this is going to help you a lot um, so that's it guys thanks for watching this video if you liked it please share this video subscribe to my channel and like i will see in the i i will see you in the next video that's it bye bye